Hi everyone, welcome to the NumPy basics sessions and in this session we will learn about the NumPy and the topics that we are going to cover is like what is a NumPy, how to create NumPy array, how to uh, access the NumPy uh, arrays, how to update NumPy, how to like uh, indexing and slicing then followed by basic operations, addition, subtraction, all those things followed by then there uh, in NumPy we have functions in NumPy then followed by what are broadcasting and then what is NumPy string functions followed by storage comparison. This will be a series of three videos uh, and in the first series I'll cover till functions using NumPy and the, the rest of the topics will be covered in like later videos where I'll show you, you how to, how the like storage comparison between list and NumPy, the processing time, time comparison between list and NumPy. For the metrics and linear algebra, I have already have I already have a separate playlist for metrics and linear algebra, so I will not cover in this uh, session. And then we have iterations followed by the like how to convert a, the NumPy element to a hexadecimal format, and then we have input output how to create a file and then how to read that file again. And then for we will close it by uh, showing uh, the matplotlib and binning with in Python using NumPy. So let's start. So what is NumPy first of all? Uh, well, NumPy is a library for scientific computing like uh, con computing in the sense like we can do the addition subtraction for the list we cannot do if you if you try to divide a list by another list you won't get the value show mathematical error some error it will come and NumPy stands for numerical python then NumPy consists of multi-dimensional object and it has a collection of function routines of its own. The major advantage of NumPy over list is list first of all cannot do the arithmetic operation. List takes much more memory as, com as compared to NumPy and the processing speed of NumPy is way higher than list. So I'll show you, let's start. I'll show you how to create first the NumPy. Import NumPy. So what we'll do, we'll create a NumPy np.array and then I'll create three element 1, 2, 3 and then we'll simply print this whatever we have created here so this is our uh, element is formed now after this if i want to print uh, x dot d type so it is in 32 now if i if i just change this value here to 3.0 so now you see what is the type it was it changed to float and if you try to print x now it will come in the form of float 1.0 2.0 3.0 that's all so please note these are important points to remember. Then we'll see like suppose if we have x is equal to np dot array and then we have few elements. Suppose if we say this is equal to true, it's equal to two, and if we print this x and then we'll print the x dot size followed by we'll print x dot shape. Now if we'll execute these three lines, we'll get first of all x print x will it will show you this three lines this line followed by x dot size the number of element inside this is five and the shape is this is like one row and five column suppose now do we change this value to three so if you see the number of dimension rows into columns like these are your dimensions okay based on this number of dimension three and you can see here number of like square bracket has also so that's it for like uh, about how to create NumPy arrays then we will move it to how to access the uh, array element so suppose we have this uh, so if you want to access the array element then if you want to view this 30 then you have to give here 2 because it starts from 0 if you want to view the last element then you have to give x of minus 1 and if you want to view the third last then x of minus 3 so these are the very simple methods how we can like access the array elements. Now then we have the next item is like updating a NumPy. So we already have this. If you print x, what are the element? If we change this 30 by 80, how to do that? So for that x of what is the index of this? Index is 0, 1, 2. x of 2 is equals to 80. Okay, so you can say this is updated. NumPy's can be updated. It is not like tuples where it is uh, where the tuples are immutable. NumPy can be for one of the most important part here is like indexing and slicing. Suppose we say type one or method one or type one, you can say we have say x is equals to and p dot will say 10. It will just create 10 elements. If you see here from 0 till 9 and what we'll do, we'll say s is equals to 
slice 2 comma 7 comma 2 suppose and then we'll get print x of so see what we are doing we are starting from 2 and we are the last element is 6 and then we'll increment uh, each element like from 2 will increment 2 plus 2 4 and then 4 plus 2 6 and it won't and 4 plus 2 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8 8 is greater than 7 so it will stop till 6 if we change this to 9 so this is fine right I hope you understand this then then we have uh, we'll do some more uh, examples on slicing print x of slice we'll do 3 comma 7 comma 3 just stop this with 3 comma 7 comma 3 is 9 so it will take 3 as a first element then 3 plus 3 6 it will take then 6 plus 3 9 won't go beyond that number if we take here 10 we'll do here we'll take 9 we'll take 8 and it will take We'll start from 0 okay and this will increment by 2 so it, it should be here 0 2 4 6 and 8 will not the last number is not it. if i print the same thing whatever i have done here i can get like whatever i am printing here right uh, what i'll do i have 1 comma 7 comma will start from 1 1 plus 3 4 so 1 is printed and 4 is printed 4 plus 3 7 and the last number here is 7 so it will not print if we change this number to 8 okay and now if we print this 7 will be. whatever we have printed here can be achieved again by just doing x colon 8 colon 2 first number here if you see this 2 output of this 2 is 0 to 4 6 and again the output instead of giving slice and, uh, and this bracket you can give it just take the x and just give the number instead of comma you have to give the colon and it will take it will read in the same way how it reads normally like how it's reading in the first then we will see something like suppose x is equal to np dot array and then we give 20 so here y will say y is equal to x of 10 then we will give print of y now if we execute this so only the 10th element is printed now but if you print here like y what we'll do where x is equal to y and then colon 10 from 0 till but the value of x what we have taken first till 20 0 till 19 and value of y is like it's called the creating a numpy out of a number again if we, if we say y is equal to x of 10 colon then this will print from 10 till end of this if we say print y 2 colon 8 so it will print from 2 till 7 yeah because y y starts from 10 right so this is 0th index first index second index second index is 12 so that's why 12 came here and till the second last and 8 so 0 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 index lies here. So, second last of 18 will be 17. That's why 12 till 17 it will print. What if if we give y then 2 colon 10 colon 2? It will print every like the second element of this is 10. Then it will print 10 plus this 2. 12, 14, 16, 18. Let's execute. Now, if we give here, if we change this. So from here it will take what 10 first of all 10 will come 10 followed by plus 3 13 the second index it starts from the second index right so 10 is the 0th index 11 is the first index and 12 is the second index so 12 plus 3 15 15 plus 3 8 now again what we'll do suppose x is equals to the dot array now if we want to get the first row and first column now if i want to print like if I execute this, what will happen? This is my metric. Now, if I want to get the different rows and different columns, okay. So, what this this will print? Print 1. So, from 1, from 1 is the, this is first row, this is second row and this is third row. If I take 1, then 1 will be discarded. First row, the 0th index row will, dis, will be discarded and it will take from second row and the third row will come here. Now, what will happen if I give print? This is 0th index, this is 1st index, this is 2nd index. Now, if I I have taken here 1, so it will print from here, this 2 row will be printed. Now, when I take 2, only this row will be. And if I take here 0, then in this case, all the 3 rows will leave. Now, what if, if I take Print. it will not print anything because there is no third index. third row is not there similarly if you want to get the columns 
कॉलम वन इज टेन फोर्टी टेन फोर्टी सेवेंटी सेकेंड कॉलम इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी एटी एंड थर्ड कॉलम इज थर्टी सिक्सटी नाइनटी हाउ डू एक्सिक्यूट दिस दिस विल बी एक्स ऑफ प्रिंट ऑफ कॉलम कॉमर जीरो दिस शुड प्रिंट द फर्स्ट कॉल टेन फोर्टी सिमिलरली इफ वी प्रिंट द फर्स्ट ओके दिस विल प्रिंट फोर्टी फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी एटी सिमिलरली इफ वी थर्टी सिक्सटी एंड नाइन दिस इज हाउ वी हैंडल द Slicing and dicing, or you can see slicing and like indexing. The next part is is the basic operations in NumPy. So what are the basic operations? Suppose we have x is equals to ten to thirty, y is equals to thirty, sixty, seventy. If I try to add, it, will this work? This has worked, but it has not given the desired output. What we wanted, we wanted to add the each element thirty plus ten is forty, twenty plus sixty, eighty, and seventy plus thirty, hundred. But this has simply concatenated because this is not a numpy. This is simply a list. So if we want to achieve that, we have to create x is equals to and a similarly y is equals to. Now if we give print, we'll get the exact desired output. And if you try to divide it, it won't like in that case it will throw some error. Suppose if you divide or because okay now because uh, it's x and y is numpy now. Now it will throw it, and if I y y ten, so this has done very nicely. What we'll do now is so these are the basic operations which you should be like if you are trying to add or subtract or multiply. Even multiplication is very simple. X print x into ten. Now after this, what I'll show you, we will work with functions. And there we will see the large number. Of, suppose we say that in some series, Sachin, uh, a seven match series where Sachin has like outstanding form and he has hit five centuries in a seven match series against Pakistan. So in that case, the first century is 110, the next is 105. So our array is created. Length of array is the one two. Get the maximum run where he has scored. Okay, and we thought. Or first of all, we'll we'll see the mean average of this series. What is the average? The average run throw per match is 105. Then we'll see, and we thought minimum score what he has is zero. What is the maximum score? Maximum score should come 180. We'll see the what is the variance of his score considering all the matches. Okay, then we'll see run. Standard deviation is 72 from the mean. If you take now, uh, if you see here, what is the index of the maximum score, highest score? This is 0, 1, 2. Uh, we will open now. In this, the index of the maximum score is 4, and the index of the minimum score is 3 and 0. So let's see what if we want to get the index of the maximum and minimum. How do we achieve that? That will be achieved by print np dot ar g x and we'll pass. So fourth is the right answer. Then if you want to see the np dot ar g min here, it has given the first operands. If you see here in this. Three and six is the minimum scores, but it has taken just the first one. It has given the first. Now after this, we'll print what are the non-zero items present in my non-zero items means the 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 items where the value is not zero. Like so, it should give zero, one, two, four, five. We come here zero, one, two, four, and five. Zero, one, two, four, and five. So this is how we get the. Like non-zero item. Then we see like print np dot. We'll use where function and we'll see runs is greater than one. Now runs greater than one twenty will be the which all uh, the index and the it will be two four and five. So if we execute this index which is returned is two four five. Now after this if we print np dot. But before that we have a condition. Condition is like such in so run is greater than hundred and is less than one sixty. Run per in. So here, what we'll do? Np dot extract. We need to pass here two parameters. One is the condition, whatever we have created, and the data set or the source of data, which is my np chain underscore. So if we execute this, we'll get the result. So if we open this, greater than hundred and less than one sixty. Greater than hundred, greater than hundred, and less than one sixty. 
these are three items. So I hope you understand this session, a detailed session I can say. In the next session, we will be covering broadcasting followed by broadcasting followed by NumPy string functions, then storage comparison between list and NumPy and the processing time. In this session, we have covered what is NumPy, we have created the NumPy, we have uh, accessed the NumPy element, we have updated NumPy, we have even like uses the use the indexing and slicing and we have also done some basic operations in NumPy and finally we have like created a NumPy array with this search and runs and we have like executed most of the functions that is used. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, uh, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and uh, I'm always open for the question. Please feel free to post in the comment section if you have any question. And I'll see you in the next video which will be related to the item number 8 till 12 or 30. Thank you. And I